الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مذل له ومن يذلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأن محمدا عبده ورسوله أكرمه بالنبوة وجعله رحمة للعالمين اللهم صل وسلم على عبدك ورسولك وحافظ سرك ومبلغ رسالاتك وصل على وسيه وأخيه أمير المؤمنين وعلى الصديقة الطاهرة فاطمة سيدة نساء العالمين وصل على سبتي الرحمة الحسن والحسين سيد شباب أهل الجنة وصل على أئمة المسلمين علي بن الحسين ومحمد بن علي وجعفر بن محمد وموسى بن جعفر وعلي بن موسى ومحمد بن علي وعلي بن محمد والحسن بن علي والخلف القائم المهدي حججك على عبادك وأمنائك في بلادك صلاة كثيرة دائمة اللهم كن لوليك الحجة ابن الحسن صلواتك عليه وعلى آبائه في هذه الساعة وفي كل ساعة وليا وحافظا وقائدا وناصرا ودليلا وعينا حتى تسكنه أرضك توعى وتمتعه فيها طويلا برحمتك يا رحم الرحمين وصلى الله على محمد وآله الطاهرين اللهم صل على محمد وآله It was today around uh, 3 in the morning that I received a text message from Brother David Zane. I don't know if he already arrived or not, but asked me to talk about the importance of Friday prayer and the role of Salat al Jum'ah in education for our family, for our community, for our neighbors. It is an important issue. You know, Yom al Jum'a means Yom al Ijtima, the day of togetherness. They used to call it Yom al Uruba before Islam. Like it had a racist and national, nationalistic uh, aspect before Islam. But from being a, a racist, expression or name, Islam changed it to a religious expression, Yom al -Jum'ah. And Islam called this Sayyid al ayyam the master of days. As a matter of fact, Jum'ah is considered one of those four Eids, Eid al-Fitr, Eid al-Adha, Eid al-Ghadir, or Eid al-Jum'ah. So it is really a weekly Eid. For this reason, we are called to kind of celebrate the Jum'ah, to have taking a shower and be clean and make a ghusl, a nidafa, a tea, perfume, and consider it as an important day, Yom al -Eid. It is also Yom al -Itq. Inna lillahi utaqa'un fi kull jum'atin, laylat jum'atin wa yawm al jum'a fata'arradu li rahmatillah. Imam Salih alayhi salam is saying that Eid al jumaa is Eid al -Itq. Means Friday is about freedom from sins, day of liberation. And for this reason, not only in the physical aspect, we are told to take care of our physical appearance, but also spiritually. Qiraatul Quran, Kathratul Salat, Kathratul Sadaqah, Kathratul Dua, to make Yom al a very spiritual day of recitation of the Qur'an and prayer and charity. 
Another tabir about Yom al-Jum'ah is Yom al-Mukhtar. Inna Allah ikhtara min kulli shay'in shay'a fakhtara min al-ayyam yom al-Jum'ah. This is a chosen day. Out of all days of the week, Yom al-Jum'ah is a chosen day. يضعف الله فيه الحسنات ويمحو فيه الصيئات ويرفع فيه الدرجات ويستجيب فيه الدعوات Every blessing is double on Friday. Every reward, every pardon, every promotion of darajat is double because this is يوم مختار. اختار الله للثباب والآجر والمغفرة ومحو السيئات. Let us see, start from the Quran itself, that the most important thing on Friday is صلاة الجمعة. Obviously, يا أيها الذين آمنوا إذا نودي للصلاة من يوم الجمعة فاسعوا فيها فاسعوا إلى ذكر الله وذر البيع ذلكم خير لكم إن كنتم تعلمون. First of all, he's talking to the mu'minin. أيها الذين آمنوا. If somebody is not mu'min, okay, we we are not talking with that. Right? So some people, if you tell them that you are not mu'min, they get angry. But they never care about iman and Islam in practice. It says if you are mu'min. You are in audience of this Khitab al-Qur'ani. When you see there is Salat al-Jum'ah on Friday, and there is a nida, there is an adhan, that there is Salat al-Jum'ah, fas'aw, mizrash, mizran, walk very fast. Because people didn't have car over there to say, well, drive for five minutes. They have to walk. Sometimes for two hours, because the distance for Salat al-Jum'ah is two farsakhs, right? And farsakh is six kilometers and a half almost, so two farsakh is 13 kilometers. So it's wajib to attend Salat al-Jum'ah in the distance of 13 kilometers, and since they didn't have car, they have to walk. Fashaw means run. So every Friday was like a marathon for the faithful attending a marathon to attend the Salat al Jumat for how, how fast you can go for 13 kilometers, probably taking, depends how you walk, but almost hour and a half, two hours of walking. It says, Fasha, rush to dhikr Allah, to remember Allah, but that will bear you. Reject your greed and reject your. Uh, temptation for this world. Drop the business and go. That is the best for you. In kuntum ta'lamun. In kuntum ta'lamun, if you know, you know that the salat is the best. Hayya ala salah, hayya ala al-falah, hayya ala khayr al-amal. The salat is salvation, al-falah. The Salat is Khair al-Amal, the best action. The Salat al-Hagigi, here al-Falah, wa here Khair al-Amal. You know this in Kuntum Ta'lamun, if you know it. But unfortunately, the majority of people don't know. Well, I can act for a nas al Quran says the majority don't know. Aktharahum la ya'adalun. Majority of people don't reflect. A few days ago, as I was running and uh, driving towards House of Wisdom, I was listening to NPR, and there was uh, a guy who wrote a book saying that the, uh, the, the title of the book is We All Are Ignorant. He didn't say the majority are ignorant. He said everybody is ignorant. He said, do you know, even in this country, 25% of Americans, they still think this is the sun that is going around the, uh, the earth, not vice versa. Still in 21st century, 25% of people, 
In this country, they think that, as a matter of fact, sun is traveling around the earth. So he said that we all, in some extent, everybody is ignorant. But the Quran, out of generosity, is akhtarahum, the majority. So in Surah Al-Jum'ah, it says, first I will have Allah. But you know that Surah al Munafiqun, which is mustahab to recite Surah al Munafiqun in, in the second rak'ah, complete this verse. It says, Ya you alladina amanu, again talking to the mu'mineen, la tulhikum amwalukum wala awladukum an dhikrinna, wa ma yaf'al dhalika fa ulaika humul khasirun. Don't let your business or your family, sometimes your wife, Discourage you, discourages you from going to Friday prayer. Sometimes your husband discourages you from going to Friday prayer. Sometimes the kids are around and distract you from Friday prayer. The Quran says, Don't let the material, money, or your family to divert you from attending Friday prayer. If they were able to stop you, if you did not attend Friday prayer, you are a loser. You really lost something important. All the reward, all the Eid, all the Itq, all your Mukhtar, all these qualities of Sayyid al ayyam is gone. If you lost the Friday prayer, and this is why somebody like a Shahid al-Thani rahimahullah wrote a book about wujub salat al-Jum'ah. So, لَيْسَ مَنْ شَرُوتَ وُجُوبَ صَلَاتِ الْجُمْعَةِ حُزُورُ الْمَعْسُومِ أَوْ نَائِبُهُ وَذَلِكَ بِدَلِيلَ آيَةِ الْجُمْعَةِ He says, now forget about all the ahadith or all the fatawa or whatever, whoever anybody said. Just look at the verse. This ayah Qur'ani is enough to tell us that it is wajib. Fas'aw ila dhikrillah wa dharu al-bayt is absolutely clear. We don't need any other reason to recognize how important this obligation of the Jum'ah. Of course, there are 200 hadith about Salat al-Jum'ah. Half of them are talking about Salat al-Jum'ah as wajib, now whether saying wujub ta'yini, wujub ta'khiri, either way, it is enough to be a substitute for Salat al -Dhuh. That means that whether you consider Salat al-Jum'ah wujub ta'yini or wujub ta'khiri, when you perform Salat al-Jum'ah, you don't have to perform Salat al -Dhuh. And when we go really through this hadith, it's just amazing that encouragement from the Prophet, peace be upon him himself, in Allah Azza wa Jal, قَدْ افْتَرَدَ عَلَيْكُمُ الْجُمْعَةَ فِي مَقَامِ هَذَا فِي عَامِ هَذَا فِي شَهْرِ هَذَا إِلَى يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ That this Prophet is talking that Friday prayer is wajib for you till the day of judgment. فَمَنْ تَرَكَهَا وَلَهُ إِمَامٌ فَلَا بَارَكَ اللَّهُ لَهُ فِي أَمْرٍ أَلَا لَا حَجَّ لَهُ لَا صَوْمَ لَهُ لَا صَدَغَةَ لَهُ لِمَنْ تَرَكَ الْجُمْعَةِ Saying someone who deprived himself from Salat al-Jum'ah, he's deprived himself from barakah and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And by losing Salat al-Jum'ah, he's losing the spirit of Hajj, he's losing the spirit of Siyam is losing the spirit of charity. Everything is gone because Salat al Jum'ah is a, an important weekly foundation. Then a hadith from Imam Sadiq alayhi salam, Ma min qadam min sa'at illa al Jum'ah illa haram Allahu jasadahu ala nar. Subhanallah. He's saying when your foot follows Friday prayer, that foot would never face the fire of hell. And that's a statement from Imam al masum That the feet that they are forwarding to Friday prayer, they are not going to see the fire of now. And there are so many other hadith like, Inna fil Jum'ati Sa'atan لا يسأل الله العبد فيها إلا أعطاه الله إياها. 
قال يا رسول الله أي ساعة هي؟ قال حين تقام الصلاة إلى الفراغ منها. Prophet is saying that there is an hour on Friday, يوم الجمعة. That whatever a servant of Allah is asking him, he is going to answer the prayer. And he would provide you with whatever you ask during that hour. They said, Ya Rasulullah, what hour is that? And he said, exactly the hour of the Salat. From the time that the khutbah starts till the Salat is done. That is the time of istijabu da'wah. That Allah would answer your du'a and he pays attention. I hope that our marajah makes some revolution in their fatawa when it comes to Friday prayer. One reason that our marajah and scholars really didn't emphasize enough on something that Quranically is absolutely wajib, no doubt about that, is because of what happened in history. Because Salat al Jummah was used for political purposes. They used Salat al Jummah for fitna. They use, even now, they use Salat al Jummah to recruit suicide bombers, to lie to encourage war and bloodshed because of abusing Salat al-Jum'ah. You have heard that Muawiyah sometimes even, he announced for Salat al-Jum'ah on Yom al-Arba'ah. On, on Wednesday, he asked for Salat al-Jum'ah. He said, Muawiyah, I mean, this Salat al-Jum'ah, this is Salat al-Arba'ah. How you can say Friday prayer on Wednesday? He said, well, we need people now to come to get together and that's the only way that we can bring them. So one of the reason, or probably most important reason, that the, the Shia community did not do a good job when it comes to Friday prayer was the, the political atmosphere and the Hukam al jor how they abused Friday prayer. But really, if we go to the details of jurisprudence, when you have five people, you must make Salat al Jummah on Friday. You need only five people. The only reason that you may not, you may excuse yourself if somebody is sick, if somebody is traveling, somebody has an emergency, or somebody is far away, means your distance from Salat al Jummah is more than two farsakh, then you are ma'af, you don't have to participate. But if your distance is 13 kilometers, in 13 kilometers from you there is Salat al Jummah, you must go. Even if you don't have a car, you have to walk. Vas'aw. Means a sign, you're walking. Sa'ibay al Safa al Marwa, you walk, right? We have to walk. When, as I said, if you had an emergency, I mean, the, the Quran says, Darul Bayr, you have to drop your, your business, but sometimes situation is out of your control, you may uh, lose your uh, provision for your family, that's an emergency, that's another thing, but in normal situation, there is so much emphasis on Salat al Jum'ah. That even some fuqaha they are saying la yajuz safar qabla salat al jumu'ah. Ayatollah Sistani is saying la yajuz if you if there is salat al jumu'ah and you are traveling, you should postpone your prayer. Like Hajjfaat postponed his prayer. I think today he was going to Texas and this is why he didn't get the announcement for today. So but he didn't postpone that God postponed this this prayer. This says you have to go to Friday prayer. La Another thing is that la yajuz al salat wal kalam in al khutbah. Because some people they come and salat al jumu'ah they are talking with their cell phone. You cannot talk on your cell phone when you are listening. I mean, if you are a doc doctor or you have an emergency and you know from the hospital they have to call you, you have to answer. That's an emergency situation. But in, in general, la yajuz al kalam in al khutbah, hatta la yajuz al salat. I mean, you cannot both listen to the khutbah and pray too. You miss both of them. I mean, you're supposed to listen to the khutbah. And then if you want to pray, you have to pay attention to your salat, and you cannot combine it. So that's why you cannot even pray during the day. Another point is that 
promotion of Friday prayer should come especially from the parents, the family. Ya ayyuhalladhina amanu qu anfusakum wa ahlikum nara. Protect your family how you protect them. One of the best ways is to protect them through the prayer. And the most important prayer is Friday prayer. Don't we see this tsunami of, of corruption and addiction and alcohol and depression and all these spiritual diseases are threatening our families and our youth and our community? In the Salat Tanha and Al Fasha and Munka, where answers protect them with the Salat, with Salat al Jum'ah. There are cases that they are really shocking. We had just a story of a young man, I don't know him, I don't know his name, and nobody knows him, that's why I mentioned it in Salat al Jum'ah. We had a box that, you know, for Ziyarah, that inshallah on Yom Guladat Imam Hussein. The following Sunday, when we have a dinner, we are going to open that box, and whoever bought the, the raffle is going to win a, a ziyarah to Iraq and Iran. So you go to Karbala, to Najaf, to Kadamiya, to Samirra, to Imam al -Rida. The whole trip is going to be paid by House of Wisdom for the winner of that. Even if you don't get enough for that, is the House of Wisdom is going to provide that. And the box was there. We heard that the box is not there now. Somebody took the box. And there were like the envelopes and money in the box. So finally, look at somebody look at the, the camera. And a couple of hours, they found the guy. A young person. I didn't see him. I didn't talk with him. He wanted to talk to me. But I knew how embarrassed he is. And I didn't want to even look at somebody, I feel bad when I see somebody so embarrassed on uh, that situation. I said, somebody else talked to this person. They said, we have to report him to the police and so on. I said, you know, let us correct this person and guide this person instead of sending him to jail and make him more criminal. So there was a situation that they found him and they talked with him and he brought some money He said, that's all I got. And uh, so we, we, somebody talked with him, and may Allah forgive him, and may Allah guide him. 26 year old, a young person who is healthy, who can work. Instead of coming to Salat al Jummah, this guy comes to steal a box of Sadaqah, which is for Ziyarat of Karbala and Najaf. This is a cancer. This is a huge disease. This is a big warning. And we as parents are responsible. Who and Fusakum wa Ahlikum Nara, we have to take care of these kids. And one way is to encourage them to come to Salat al Jum'ah. That's extremely important. So Salat al Jum'ah has to do with our spirit, with our family, with our youth, with the neighbors, with the community, and the world. We need to come to Salat al Jum'ah and get awareness, education. May God save this country and the world for the next four years of the administration of Donald Trump. Things are extremely dangerous of this flip-flop foreign policy that this guy is that's unbelievable. Just a few days ago, the, the Secretary of State says that Iran has been respecting the nuclear agreement. Right away, Trump said that Iran is violating the, the agreement. Just a few hours, Secretary of State says something, and the President says something else. And then Rex uh, Tillerson, this uh, Secretary of State, walking between Riyadh and Israel, now looks like the foreign policy of the United States is made in Tel Aviv and Riyadh. And then the same president who was talking about ISIS all the time, now the tone is changed, now they are talking about Assad. They were supposed to target ISIS, and now they are targeting those who are targeting ISIS. They are different now. ISIS was a terrorist organization 
Now they are saying everybody who is attacking and fighting ISIS, that is terrorist. Because Iran is fighting ISIS and Lebanese are fighting and Syrian are fighting. Now they are now terrorists because they are fighting terrorism. So you see how messy and how crazy and how criminal, how dark, how disappointing, how sick the world is moving towards? Moving towards such a dangerous destination? We need to get awareness and education and that one way. You see when it's coming to chemical weapon, you saw the things in that area, it looks like a Photoshop. You know, when you look at it, everything is prepared and you know, nicely filmed. And you see the whole world is starting and crying all over. But then were those buses coming from another Syrian city. And more than 100 people, 126 people were killed. 68 of them were kids. You saw the photos, the real photos of the buses. 68 kids, they burned to death. We did not hear one word from the White House, from, from, from State Department, from Pentagon, from any of them. It's just horrible. All of a sudden in the news, they are attacking North Korea and they dropped talking about North Korea, and Iran became like the, the cause of all the problem. Here, at, all the way from Nikki Haley from United Nations, representing the United States and United Nations, to the guy from Defense Ministry uh, visiting King Salman in Saudi Arabia, all of them talking about Iran and Mogawam and Syria as the cause of disorder and problems in the Middle East. And none of them mentioned that what about 1.4 million Yemenis kids that they are dying out of famine now in Yemen. Nobody cares about that. Because all they care that the, the Saudi kingdom is ready to buy more weapons. And some of these guys with Trump they are involved, they, get, they have share in the weapon industry, they get money out of this business, so somebody should buy this weapon, and the Saudis are doing it. And this is the same Trump who was attacking Saudi, of accusing them of giving money to Clinton. Now there is no, no war against that kingdom, and it's just opposite now. Saudi is not the problem, ISIS is not the problem, Iran has become the problem. You see how, how crazy world that no integrity, no attention to American values, American interests. America as a nation, as a country, is just unbelievable. Of course, my talk in this humble mass is not going to change the American foreign policy, we know that. It's not that now Trump is listening to me or anybody cares for what you say. But the point is that if society gradually get aware and be educated and end this ignorance, there is going to be a time that people in the White House would pay more attention to the ideas of this nation, to the interests and integrity of this nation, and have some respect for this country. Looks like respect is gone, fairness is gone, justice is gone, common sense is gone, and sending bad messages that those people who are supposed to be a role model of teaching dignity and honesty and mercy and justice and peace, now all they talk about war, Warmongering, fearmongering, and bringing pain to poor people, whether in Yemen or whether in Libya or Afghanistan or Syria or Iraq or Lebanon or Palestine or anywhere else. So we see the importance of Salat al Jum'ah, that how Salat al Jum'ah can be part of solution. 
moral solution, a spiritual solution, social solution, political solution, family solution. For this reason, brothers and sisters, take Salat al Juma very seriously. I mean, you have Facebook, you have email, you have cell phone. When you receive, for example, announcement from House of Wisdom about Salat al Juma, share it with your friends. I see so many people, they click like, like, like. You like it, then share it with somebody else. Let everyone in the community, when they know that is one third is time for Salat al-Jum'ah, Islam is a religion of ishtima. Our religion is religion of community, religion of Juma, religion of togetherness, religion of unity. Yad Allah al Jama'a. You are powerful when you are one. United, we stand divided, we fall. That, that is an American, good American expression. And this is why Amir al Mu'mineen is said that. There are six things. I mean, to listen to the Al Jannah. I guarantee for six group of people paradise. رجل خرج بالصدقة فمات فله الجنة. Somebody is leaving his house to do something charitable, a charity in any sense, a charity in money, charity in idea, charity in being a volunteer. Charity in being a part of a solution for a social problem. And if this person died in this mission of charity, فَلَهُ الْجَنَّةِ He is a shaheed. وَرَجَلٌ خَرَجَ يَعُودُ مَرِيدًا وَرَجَلٌ خَرَجَ مُجَاهِدًا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ وَرَجَلٌ خَرَجَ حَاجًا وَرَجَلٌ خَرَجَ فِي جَنَازَةٍ وَالرَّجُلُ خَرَجَ لِلْجُمْعَةِ فَمَاتَ فَلَهُ الْجَنَّةِ These six group of people, somebody is aiming for charity. Somebody is going to visit somebody in hospital, in the house, somebody who is sick. Or is participating in a struggle to remove a fitna, to remove erhab and terrorism, to do a jihad. في سبيل الله working hard to solve a problem or somebody who is going to perform his pilgrimage somebody who is participating in a funeral of a faithful to show support for the family of the mayyid and finally Imam Amir al muminin said that six group of people that I guarantee لهم الجنة I guarantee as Amir al muminin with his vision, heavenly vision, he said, رجل خرج للجمعة فمات فله الجنة. Those who go to Salat al-Jum'a and la samahallah, an accident happened. Or you see in those areas in Yemen, in Iraq, in, in Syria, they go to Salat al-Jum'a and they become victims of those criminal terrorists. Because they are going to Salat al Juma, Imam Ali says they are all shuhada, they are martyrs. So, Alhamdulillah, we come here in a safe area, secure area, peaceful area. No reason for any Muslim in this area to be lazy, to be a little greedy for a few more dollars for one hour. Because Surah al Juma says, Wallahu khayrul razaqeen, He is the best provider. If you know that Yom al Juma, Yom al Eid, Yom al Juma, Yom al Eitq, Yom al Juma, Sayyid al Ayyam, Yom al Juma, Yom al Iftar Allah. If these are the qualities of Juma, and the main function of Juma is Friday prayer, that brings protection for our soul and purifies our, our spirit, then we know that dhalikum khayrul lakum is better for you. You need to just know it. May Allah bless you brothers and sisters for taking Salat al Jum'ah seriously and inshallah as we go through this spring and, and month of Ramadan is approaching, 
I hope that every member of Salat al Juma be a member of promotion and engagement and encouraging our family members and our neighbors to attend Salat al Juma. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wal asrin al-insan al